Hello, Kev Edwards Sim Rally here. Uh, welcome to my career mode on WRC8. I was planning to, to stream this, uh, but because I still can't really talk, um, I, I, I'm still going to be like this till probably a week Wednesday, I think. Um, so, yeah, no face cam. Uh, so, I'll, t I'll just probably just do it in sections and then I might start to stream it later on when I get into the WRC. So, I've already done two seasons, so I've, I've ran through my first WRC, which is like the normal WRC class, WRC2 class, uh, and then from there I got promoted into WRC2 Pro, so you've actually got to do two WRC2 events at least uh, before you get promoted. So you do like the normal bog standard one, which is actually quite hard. It's hard managing the money and stuff. Um, I think I ended up in about like 70 grand's worth of debt or something. <laughs> didn't end up getting um, didn't end up getting an, an offered another contract by Citroen I was with at the time, Craig Bream's uh, girlfriend I think it is, Tamar or something. Uh, so I was driving for their team. Uh, then I ended up getting promoted. Uh, I got two offers for WRC 2 Pro, I think it was the Fiesta and the Skoda. Went for the Skoda, ran through a full season in the Skoda. It's actually easier when you're into WRC Pro, uh, into the WRC Pro class, because you were an actual manufacturer. You got a few more options and a bit more money to play with. Uh, I didn't feel like I was going into uh, debt as easy. As you can see, I've got 115 grand after the first season. Uh, so, I was actually... I, I finished on the podium every single time. I got a couple of wins. I think I finished fifth overall. So, I was, I was expecting to be promoted uh, into the WRC. So, I, I was surprised when I didn't, get a, I didn't get a contract. I even got a manufactured tryout, which I passed for the WRC Fiesta. Uh, so I don't know why I didn't get offered uh, a promotion from there. So I'm a little bit, a little bit annoyed. Um, so far, I'm finding the career really good, but some bits are quite tedious, and some of the the way it's set up, like the maintenance events. Uh, I've only got half a car full now, so I thought I'd be able to pick a maintenance event whenever I want, but it seems quite random some of the, the stuff you can do. Those extreme conditions are uh, a waste of time as well. I'm not a big fan of them. I think I'll take a rest day there instead um, and see what happens on the next one. Um, so we'll do our training. Here, let's make sure I've got no... See, they are, I should have a good season because I, I've built up the car as well from the first season, so I'm, I'm in a better position than I was at the start of the first season. Some of these objectives are a bit stupid as well. Don't use a hard tyre. Why wouldn't I want to use a hard tyre if, if the rally needs me to use a hard tyre? So that, that messed me up on one of the events. I had two pretty long stages, an epic stage, and then a sort of medium length stage that I, to keep this bonus, I only used a soft tyre for. By the end of the, like halfway through the epic stage, my tyres were completely trashed. Uh, and I found it really hard. Another thing I've noticed, uh, another event, Mads Osberg was winning me. So I seen him crashed on the side of the road and was like, happy days. Uh, backed off a little bit because it was like, I don't have to push it. By the way, I've got no restarts. I'm on authentic, um, authentic damage. And... I'm only on hard difficulty. I did try the authentic difficulty with the AI, and it's the near not the near on impossible. They're getting faster times in the R fives than the super fast guys are getting on top of the leaderboards. So it's a little bit unrealistic. Um, so I had to redo it and go back to hard difficulty, which I'm finding quite good actually. It's quite a nice sort of balance. It's not it's not it's not easy, uh, but it's not impossible. You can win rallies. Um, so, yeah, so I've got another one, don't use hard tyres again, it's like, it's, some of it's really good, some of it's really daft, uh, 
Like, do not earn a penalty, that's fair enough. Don't earn a penalty, yeah, that's, that's a good objective. A realistic objective to go for. Um, so, we shall go through... Uh, training, I think I've got next, haven't I? Yeah, so overall, it's really good. Um, I'm finding WRC8, real, I'm enjoying it more and more. Okay, let's put our... Two... Where are we at here? Yeah. Okay. So this should put me put me view here. I don't know how you like this view and kind of meant to be where the steering wheel is. I know it doesn't exactly match up, but yeah, I thought it was a bit better than having it way up in the corner. Yeah, I've got some decent decent setups to be honest. Uh, coming along quite nice and I've noticed as well the setups are different for each location so you might find a good one in Finland try and use that at Mexico or Wales and it just doesn't work at all so you've got to you've got to kind of find setups that are, uh, work for each location at each type of surface whatever it be like loads of jumps or short and sort of bumpy uh, so these training areas are quite fast but it is kind of a circle as well i'll just use my base one i think uh maybe bring my transmission down because you often don't get up to full pelt yeah uh, finding hot these hard to get first in go slower because you can get damage in training as well so I could I could ruin a car now and not be able to finish my training off because I've got no restarts so you don't you don't get any restarts in the training either yeah, so I'll just make sure it's uh, easy Ooh. Ooh, see like that if I was full pelt there that would have been over it's actually quite bumpy this one. Well, okay, let's see what we can do. not to get damage. I think it's a little bit more lenient in the training. If that was in an event there, I think I would have been uh, worse off. Right, I need to remember that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Jeez, I can keep forgetting that. Okay, what have we got? Right, I can definitely get that into silver, but... I won't bother trying to get it into gold. Now, the base setup isn't really working here. Just done it. That'll do me. Probably could get that down with a bit of effort, but yeah, uh, CBA really. Okay. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, car condition. Ah, oh, that's tough car condition as well. I really need a maintenance event. I'll try and get it back up. Come on then. Okay, so let's see. <sighs> yeah, really can't be asked with training again. I'm just gonna have two rest days. Yeah, can't be asked with that extreme conditions. It's like five thousand two hundred and ninety nine. Yeah, to do it, and uh, they're actually quite hard to do on the hard hard setup anyway. Don't think I'll, I'll tell you what, let's just do it. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, a wee, a wee, a wee unifa. I can't, can't talk. Having no teepers, well, no front teepers, really stressing me out. Right over jump, keep What a brilliant setup for Finland. Yeah, they had an absolute stonker event in here on the last years, and I was a little bit gutted that I didn't record it. Yeah, yeah, not really a big fan of that. Um, Car condition again? Why is that rude? Truck car condition? Um, okay. I'm just worry that the camera is in the way of stuff that you need to see, so that's why I'm sort of going between uh, the two scenes, if you like. Yeah, uh, covered all the stuff on the bottom, so. Okay, right, let's. Sort out some crew members. Uh, get some fresh meat in. Okay. Uh, not too sure how these work, to be honest. Uh, oh, you need the combo to get it going. Ah, uh, like, ah, uh, right. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Right, so we've got a rest day next. And then we jump to Mexico. I, f I think I won Mexico the last time. Um, I've got a decent setup already. Yes. Uh, this worked well. I I'm pretty sure I won it. But it depends on who you get as well. If you've got like Cali Ravenpair and that. Uh, Mads Osberg, they're really tough to beat. Okay, soft. A little bit of rain, possibly. Decent stages. Should get away with the soft tyre. Let's go for it. Okay. Yeah, so the second one is a super special stage as well. So that shouldn't be too too difficult. Right. Okay, so just little pet gripes that if you're a rally fan might just get on your tits. Like always being first on the road at the start of an event. No matter where you are, then the leaderboard makes no odds. There's no stage degradation or anything, so it doesn't really matter. But it's little details like that that just bug me.
Right three narrows, don't cut. 80, bumping. Left five into the bridge over crest. And right five into left three, don't cut. Flat left over crest. Into right six, tightens to 30. Into left five, 30. Right five short, left four long, tightens three over crest, 30. me out before that it looks like the road goes over there right a couple of places I love the sound of the chopper chasing here as well reminds me of rally turkey this weekend Right three then. Left five into canyon. Into right five, 50. Caution over crest, break. Jump into left five, medium, 30. Right three over bumps, 30. Left five over crest, break. Into right two, small cut, into left three, don't cut. Right five, Titans, into crest, 30. Right three, keep it to left three, don't cut. Into right four, don't cut. And left three, into crest, into right four, 30. Left two, Titans, bumping into right four, Titans, and gates for 50. Titans in right five, Titans over crest, don't cut and left five. Into right five for finish. Ooh. 
Oef, oké, okay, zo werd dat mijn stegen te staart. Yeah. Oh, happy days. That will do me. That will do me. I was surprised there, I didn't think I'd actually get first. Um, oof. Well, I, was in, I did win Mexico last time. First time out. Some rallies seems to be a little bit harder. Uh, or a little bit easier than others. Uh, Mexico, for me, seemed to be doing okay here. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy with that. And this, but some of the super special stages are quite hit and miss, I find, as well. Uh, some will do really well, some seem to get annihilated. Expecting that to be so tight. Still not quite used to it all, yeah. Oh, you bastard, yeah. 150. Ah, okay, so another, another gripe didn't happen here, but there's been times where I've been beaten, and then when it's gone to the leaderboard, I've actually won the event, even though visually I've been beaten by someone. Um, so that's another little sort of... It is, oh, all the gripes I've got with this game are minor. Um, or oh, pretty minor. Because I think they've actually done a fantastic job. And I, I put the Rally 2 back on the other day. Played about 20 minutes of it. And couldn't really get into it. I ended up just wanting to go back to this. And I, I will have to go back to this because I've got tournaments and stuff coming up. So we need to get the practice in for that. But... I, at the minute, I would much rather be playing this, um, without a doubt. Okay, so, right. A shortest stage, and then an epic stage. Now again, we've got that sort of, who do not use a hard tyre for two events, so... I think I'll, I'll try and go for it. So I'm going to have to at least take the first, we could do with a bit of rain, a bit of rain would help it out a little bit, but I don't think we're going to get any. Uh, not in Mexico anyway. Uh, yeah, I I'll go, I'll take the chance and go for it. Uh, maybe to do kind of change anything that will affect tyre wear, not really. I think my setup is pretty... Uh, I tell you what, I'll sh for those who are interested, I'll just quickly go through what I've got on the setup. So I'm finding in the career mode, uh, I'm having to make the car more stable because it, it's one. It's one bad crash and you're out. You've killed the car, and obviously there's no restart or nothing. So, um, yeah, there's no restart. So, I have to be a little bit more cautious. 
Yeah, uh, than what I would normally be. Uh, say if I was doing time trials, I can make the car a little bit more wild. Uh, but on the career, I have to get it stable. Uh, stable is the priority. Okay, who was that then? Gus Greensmith. Uh, Gus is doing well. He uh, won Turkey, even though he rolled right at the end of uh, of one of the stages. He was actually lucky to get it. Rolled into a ditch after he crossed the finish line. He was lucky to get it out and actually finish the event. Uh, okay, just so... I think you can see my options that I've picked. Uh, okay, right. Let's focus. Right five into left three. Cutting left four into right six. Hard break. Into junction. Left three. Open long. Don't cut. 30. After the lake that Oitanach went landed in oh, years ago. That bloody, it's not a fucking sightseeing tour. I'm going to take down your driving. Okay, so I'm on, I've just remembered as well, I'm on, sort of. Oh, Gus has gone! Gee. This is, uh, I think I said earlier on. So Gus is obviously out there. But when you look at the leaderboard, he would have actually set a time. A decent time as well. So, those little retirements are visual only. They don't actually affect what's going on. Gotta remember to try and take it easy. Go max attack on the last stage, which will obviously be the power stage as well. Go for max points there. Should have decent amounts of tire. Okay, so see, even though we've just passed Gus Greensmith parked up on the side of the road, he somehow managed to still finish quicker than me. That's quite a big gripe. Uh, that's an immersion spoiler for me. Really spoils the immersion. And it's good, it's good when you are having battles as well, when you do see them sort of crashed out and it can take the pressure off or it might affect your driving. So like, say first time I seen Mads Osberg, I was like, right, okay, I can back off a, a bit now because my tyres were pretty shagged anyway. Uh, and then when I got to the finish line, he'd actually set the time and I was like, what? <laughs> so, uh, that's a little bit annoying. Hopefully that can be fixed in the patch. Uh, okay, so... Just less than one and a half seconds. Okay, so we're not too bothered by that because we can. Um, I can give a. I can give a good go now. 
nice long stage. I do think towards the end I'm still going to struggle with where, uh, but if I can, if I can give a good attack for a good three quarters of the event and get a lead in, and then just manage the tyres towards the end, I'm still potentially get a win. Another thing I've noticed as well that the tyre wear is dynamic, but not that dynamic. So you can only do so much to stop your tyres getting worn. Um, so if, if I hammer this course now and say got 80% tyre wear, uh, but then if it did the same stage and drove it at 30 miles an hour with no sort of sliding or editing, I'd probably only get 75% tyre wear. So it does not that much difference. Um, it is dynamic, but it's uh, it's not that dynamic. You you can still you'll still get tire wear even if you drive through like bloody driving Miss Daisy. Uh, okay, right. Let's get in the zone for this one. Uh, big stage, power stage points, and we want the win as well. <sighs> okay, El Chocolate, El Chocolate. Let's go. So blind. <laughs> Oh, 
Right there. Right. Right. A bit of a belt on my suspension then. I'll come back to haunt me towards the end of the stage. These stages are just so good. Keep in into right four long. Keep in. And flat left, portion left three. Hopping. And right two. Don't cut. Keep in. 30. Left four. Keep in over crest. Right four over jump. Tightens three. Keep in. And left four. Tightens. Don't cut. And right three. Tightens into left three. Short. Open. 30. Tires are about halfway done now. No, 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 Just the way I think. Or I'm starting to wear on the suspension. Tires, 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 tires. Crest into right five, keep in. Into there. Start to back off a little bit now. Score cut. F3, long, keep in. Left five, keep in. Keep in. Keep in. Keep in. Keep in. Get a little bit of on the steer. Caution, 
Right three narrows into left five. Caution, jump over bridge. 50. Right five short. 80. Caution, break left two. Don't cut. 30. Right three narrows into right five. Short. 30. Left five short. 120. Hard break. Caution, square left and right six into left six for the crest. And left two, tight is one, over crest into right five, open. And right four long, tighten square right. And flat left. Ooh, get around, come on. Into break for square left, cut into crest, 30. Come on, bitch. Shorter gear ratio. Probably wouldn't have gone a mess here. The rears are walking, walking low. <laughs> The end soon. And right one, don't go oh. into left four. Up in. Into right three, flat right. And caution, left three, long. Right four, short. There's the rain, that could help me a little bit. Could have done with it sooner. Left, right if everybody else has gone for a hard tyre, this little downpour could be my saviour. Right Maybe too little, too late though. Just made it, look at that. Ooh. Oh man. Yes, even with the nine seconds. Get in. Get in. Oh, that was a. Uh, that was really, really fun. And this is why I love this game. It can uh, put you in some great sort of. Uh, great scenarios do we say okay i absolutely rate everyone there by the way uh, so tire choice yeah i was the only one who went for the soft gravel so even with that nine sort of second penalty and going off still managed to pull it out the bag oh that was awesome i'm interested to see uh, how my suspension was 
because I took a bit of a knock there. Yeah, so uh, it wasn't actually too bad. Let's say it looks like uh, Gus. Gus must have had a, a bit of an issue on section six. Uh, who else do we have? He's had an issue. Yeah, actually my suspension went but I have struggled with my suspensions. I've put a lot of sort of work into uh, on the the R and D points. Sorting the suspension out. Uh, yes. Straight in with a win! Come on! Superb. Love all that. Yes! Okay, so one rally in and we've got maximum points. Superb. Obviously we're not first because uh, Lucas Paninski has done two rallies and uh, old uh, Christian Wellyby's done three. So yeah, we've, we've definitely hit the ground running there. Happy days. Okay, out of interest. Money's going up big time as well. Our condition is goose, we need maintenance. Uh, if we don't get maintenance now, I'm in a bad way. Uh, two new crew members as well. We'll go with that. Okay, nice. let's just see what we've got and then uh, I'll call this episode. Uh, we'll probably just do one rally at a time for now. I just wish they were a bit longer. I think the WRC has six stages. Um, what have we got? Still no maintenance. Hey, man, that's tie up. Oh, maintenance there. Okay. Definitely want that. Let's have a little rest. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's it for the first week. Maybe that's the best way to do it in weeks, maybe. Mind you, you know, because then some weeks we've got two rallies. Yeah, uh, let's just see our thingy. Tour the course. That'll be tough. Portugal will be tough. Finland will be tough. Wales is tough. Uh, and Australia is tough. So, quite a lot of tough events there. It's quite a tough tough calendar but some of the better some of the better rallies Mexico uh, Portugal Wales Finland Australia all really good rallies uh, excellent okay thanks again for joining and I'll see you on the next episode don't forget like and subscribe and see you on the next video